I'm a fun guy. Uh, obviously, I love the game of basketball. Um, I mean, it's just more questions you have to ask me um, in order for me to tell you about myself. Kawhi Leonard experienced a tragedy that forever shaped him. Squeezing an explanation out of him is like trying to extract a pearl from a nut, and if we're going to count his words for a day, let's just say his personal record is at 25 words, maximum. Kawhi Leonard has a reputation for being a reserved, quiet, and private man. He rarely gives interviews and is an expert at keeping a poker face. Kawhi is the embodiment of the soul of every basketball fan. He is consistently genuine, unassuming and approachable, and makes no effort to garner admiration or acclaim that isn't merited. Kawhi Leonard is made fun of for coming across as a closed off person and a robot, but there's a terrible backstory behind how he came to present himself to the world in that way. The fun guy wasn't always reserved and shy, in fact, he was quite the opposite. Kawhi Leonard is widely recognized as one of the top basketball players in the world. And in 2019, he had just harnessed his overwhelming dominance to guide his former team, the Toronto Raptors, all the way to the NBA Finals and eventually winning its first ever championship in franchise history. When you think of Leonard and what he's known for, a few things come to mind. His defense, his enormous hands, and the ability to get whatever area he wants on the offensive end of the court. One quality in particular separates him from the rest of the pack. His quiet demeanor. We could all say that this is Kawhi's defining characteristic. Leonard is possibly the most reserved superstar the NBA has ever seen. Even more so than his former colleague Tim Duncan, and you have to go all the way back to his childhood to understand how his low-key personality became a trademark and why it's so devastating. Let's play full court, baby. Your go-to channel for the most interesting basketball topics. Do you recall a single event that had a lifelong impact on you? For Kawhi, it was January 18th, 2008, and Leonard was riding in a car with his mother when he received a call from his sister that would forever change the path that his life would take going forward. Here's his story. Leonard was born in Los Angeles on June 29, 1991. He was the youngest child and the only boy in a family with four older sisters. And he grew up in an environment that was very supportive of athletic endeavors. Allen Iverson has been Leonard's favorite basketball player throughout his whole life, despite the fact that he's always had a soft spot for the Los Angeles Lakers. For Kawhi, his early years were spent mostly focused on two sports, basketball and football. His father, Mark Leonard, who once played football, pushed his son to achieve success in both sports. Even after his parents' divorce, Kawhi and Mark spent hours shooting baskets or throwing footballs. When Kawhi was a sophomore in high school, he made the decision to devote himself solely to basketball, much to his father's dismay. Mark wished that his kid would pursue both careers so that he would always have alternatives available to him. Their father-son relationship flourished off the court as well. Some of Kawhi's fondest memories were created while he and his family were working hard and laughing hard at the car wash company that his family owned in Compton, California. Even though Leonard was still a young boy when he began working there, that didn't stop him from putting in long hours to help out his dad. They put in a lot of effort, but they didn't seem to complain because they were having such a good time in each other's company. As years passed, the car wash became the setting for some of their most treasured memories. Unfortunately, it was that car wash that bears one of Kawhi Leonard's darkest memories. Mark planned to leave work early from the car wash one day in January 2008 so he could see his kid play basketball. A last-minute customer had already arrived to get their car wash before he could leave. Mark agreed to complete the job. It was that decision that changed everything for Kawhi. The driver of that car pulled out a gun and for no apparent reason shot Mark, ending his life on the spot. The gunman was never identified. The murder remains unsolved. His sister called to inform him of the awful news. His world came crashing down. Lost, numb, confused. Kawhi later recalled, I felt like the world stopped. 
I didn't want to believe it. It didn't feel real to me. Kawaii knew things would never be the same again. The following day was going to be a big test for his high school basketball team. As they were set to face a tough opponent, Kawaii played in front of a sold out crowd, suppressing his emotions during a moment of silence before the game, and ultimately managing to score 17 points despite his team's defeat, before ultimately losing it and sobbing in his mother's arms in a tunnel inside Pauley Pavilion after the game. His father was supposed to be at the arena, watching and supporting him from the crowd. They were close, very close. One person's method of coping with loss may be quite different from another's. It took the form of dedication and a strong desire on Kawhi's part to achieve his goal of earning his father's respect and admiration. It can be said without a shadow of a doubt that he has already accomplished this purpose. Kawhi found solace in the game of basketball whenever life became too hectic for him. Kawhi used basketball as an outlet, spending countless hours honing his skills and perfecting his craft in the gym. During the 2011 NBA draft, the graduate of San Diego State University was chosen by the Indiana Pacers. Later that day, the team completed a trade that sent him to the San Antonio Spurs, where he immediately signed a multi-year contract committing and eventually winning an NBA championship. It didn't take long for everyone in the NBA to see that Kawhi had the potential to become one of the league's most exciting young players. In 2012, he became a member of the United States of America's men's basketball select team and began working out alongside Olympic colleagues Kobe Bryant, Kevin Durant, and LeBron James. As a result of the numerous injuries he sustained throughout the 2017-18 season, Kawhi was forced to sit out of multiple games. He did not play too much since he was required to participate in a rehabilitation program. Kawhi was traded from the San Antonio Spurs to the Toronto Raptors in July of 2018. And after being there for a while, he helped lead the Raptors all the way to the 2019 NBA Finals against a stacked team of Golden State Warriors and arguably the best team in NBA history. With his second NBA Finals MVP award, Leonard became the only player in league history to earn the award with teams from two different conferences. Yup, Kawhi did it first. The small forward shooting guard scored an incredible 732 points during the 2019 NBA playoffs, putting him in third place behind only Michael Jordan and James in terms of highest scoring totals for a single NBA postseason. In July 2019, Kawhi Leonard signed a three-year contract with the Los Angeles Clippers after returning to his hometown. Leonard did whatever it took to become the best basketball player he could be. Kawhi Leonard's life was forever changed on that fateful day. The father of the calm, restrained young man who spent his summers washing cars had passed away. The hole in his heart left by his father's death is certainly still there to this day. Yet sorrow and grief frequently give birth to something new. Leonard's father was laid to rest on that day, and a determined fighter with a battling spirit was born. That's the Leonard we see on the basketball court even to this day. There are no sure things in this world. There is no way to ensure that the people you care about will live a long life. You cannot ensure that you will fulfill your ambition of playing in the NBA, nor can you ensure that you will achieve the glory of winning a championship with that ambition. However, there is one certain thing. Leonard's father would be incredibly proud of that man and the player that his son has become. I'm sure it saddened him for a while to think that his dad wouldn't be there to watch how well his career turned out. But now that he's starting a family of his own, I have no doubt that he'll do everything he can to carry on his father's legacy. In the end, the NBA superstar was able to transform his tragedy into greatness. The sporting world is in a much better place because of it. We would like to know your thoughts, so why not interact with us? Subscribe to our channel. Full cord. And hit the notification button to be notified when we upload more content. Don't forget to leave a like and comment below. Also, feel free to suggest any type of videos you would like to see on this channel.